Hey, welcome to Embedded World 2020. I'm here right now at the Phytech booth and we've just come across a really cool um, demo that's using Zephyr. Zephyr is actually showing up here more at Embedded World this year than I've seen them before. And um, we basically we've got about um, over 600 developers working actively on Zephyr right now. And so my challenge at this Embedded World is figuring out where we actually can find Zephyr. And I came across and was talking to Johan about what they're doing with Zephyr. And it's super cool in the sense that most of it's upstream. Johan? Hi. Hi. I'm Johan Fischer. I'm working for Phytic and I'm an embedded system developer. And my job is to design hardware and software. <laughs> So what, what are we looking at here? So it's a very simple demo uh, based on Zephyr. And uh, we can see here a monochrome display and a sensor from ST Micro. Uh, it's time of flight sensor to measure the distance to, the, to our object. And uh, it's a Bluetooth peripheral uh, sampling sensor data and that it's a Bluetooth uh, sen central uh, sample at Just show the data from the sensor. Of the distance? Yes, it's that is the distance to the sensor. So, um, is everything upstream here? It's, uh, uh, yeah, it's all it's, open source? Yes. This uh, sensor and the display support is uh, main, from, from, from the mainline Zephyr. And, um, yeah. What's happening with this e-ink display here? It's also supported by Sapphire. And uh, this is one example for customer project. It's a um, room information system, like replacement for the, for the paper. What is this? Um, this is our um, some example project also for Sapphire. It's a T-Mobile uh, array, sensor array. And, um, based on uh, uh, SOC from NXP. It's also run, running Zephyr. So how is it to work on the Zephyr solutions? It's good. It's very <laughs> easy. Uh, for us, it's, uh, it's very easy to, uh, to work with Zephyr because a lot of, most of our um, software developers work with Linux. And uh, it's very easy, if you are familiar with Linux uh, build system and Linux ecosystem, it's very easy to switch to this Zephyr because it's, the building system is similar, uh, toolchain is similar, and the coding style is similar. So is it kind of like the, the Linux for embedded? I would say it's like Linux for low power devices. Yeah, it's good for devices where you cannot run Linux or use Linux, yeah. And um, in, in that case, it's very easy to work with it. And they've got a bunch of different boards too. Hello. Hi. Hi. I'm Theo Aldrich. I'm one of the Zephyr ambassadors here at Embedded World this year in 2020. Um, really excited to be demonstrating again the real board. And you know, the real board is incredibly special to me um, and to my career. I actually wrote my first lines of code on the real board and a lot of the development that um, I did initially when I was first getting started in IoT was focused around this and so the code samples and the amount of uh, diversity that it allows for within the community is really making it a, a very powerful tool. Um, so it's, it's one of my favorite uh, pieces of hardware at Embedded World. So uh, how's the uptake or the market adoption for the Zephyr? You know, we're seeing huge adoption. And right now, one of the biggest problems, and it's not really a problem, right? It's, it's for us, we consider it an outreach opportunity, is there is this tremendous amount of excitement and energy and use in Zephyr. Um, and it's really, for us, the challenge right now is harnessing it, being able to very quickly identify and, and bring those contributors and those users into our community because we think that that, that energy and excitement is really going to, to help us as we continue to grow. Um, and so we're actively searching for people that are using Zephyr in their products or starting to hack on it. Um, so we can bring them in, hear what they like about it, what they don't. Um, and incorporate them into our ecosystem. And uh, you are also working at the 
At Micro, yes, um, helping with business development. We're proud members of the Zephyr Project. Um, we've got a number of Zephyr-powered solutions um, on display in our booth, um, but really wanted to, to come over to Phytech and, and promote something that's really special to the entire Zephyr community. You know, the real board was actually conceived um, at Embedded World in 2018. So, um, uh, what is this real board? What does it do? Sure, so the real board for me is, is a really great development board so that I, you're able to, to access Bluetooth, a lot of um, sensors, things of that nature that really, really give you a, a lot of options. So, um, so uh, here at Phytech, you are um, you are you're making these? Yes. We have, uh, we have manufacturing domains in Germany. Uh, uh, so so what, what, what are these here? All these different uh, things? Um, this is based on uh, NF52. Uh, and it's a regular module that we deliver with uh, RealBot. Um, that is next one in prototype, prototyping phase. It's um, it's new Nordic and F5340. And uh, the, these two are available on request. We don't deliver it um, with a real bot. So, any, the customer, it's, uh, for the customers, if they need to evaluate, evaluate something, they can request. So, what's the main idea of the real board? The main idea is to provide an Really nice example, as a really easy to use board for safe fire. Yeah. And uh, with an e ink display right there. Yes. Um, Here. And everybody uh, can have a, a custom. Uh, yeah. So stuff happens when you click. Um, this board are connected to a Bluetooth mesh. So, on this message is uh, transmitted to every real board here, for example, here on the boat. 